This is Jimmy Upter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for May 11th, 2020. Corn market down three quarters of a cent, bean market up four and a half cents, Chicago wheat down four and three quarters, Minneapolis up two to three, Kansas City down five cents. Kind of the same old chop pattern, we're holding support, we haven't broken out to the top side, we haven't activated price counts, we're just kind of hit, sitting in here waiting for a USDA crop report. A lot coming at us tomorrow when we look to the estimates. Uh, corn carryout forecasted at 2.224 uh, billion bushels, in soybeans 488 million, and in wheat 969 million bushels. For the old crop, for the new crop, market estimating a 3.389 billion bushel corn carryout, 430 in the soybeans million bushels there, and 841 in the wheat. Uh, range of expectations is huge. 2.665 to 4.295 for corn, uh, beans 0.299 to 635 million bushels, and then wheat anywhere from 696 million to 971. So big range of expectations should be a pretty wild day. Uh, also, South American numbers forecasted to drop to some degree. So uh, should be one of those days where both the bull and bear get a little information. Which one gets more will dictate, and we'll see if the buyers or sellers show up after the 11 o'clock hour. On the feeder cattle, down 425 today. Live cattle down three bucks. Hogs down 142 and a half. I really think this is just a reality and the circumstances around the market. Getting a slaughtered pace back up towards a 100% type level, it's going to take some time. It's going to be difficult to do, and I think that's the reality of what the, which the market sets in here. A lot of optimism that last week, re, reality this week, and we'll see if we can hold. Nice rallies, these cattle and hogs are coming off. We'll see these price counts, see where the support measures come in here, and we'll be communicating those in the days ahead. One thing's for certain though, we have upticked our marketing here, both in the uh, uh, feeder cattle, live cattle, and hogs here over the last week. And we think it's important as you see those opportunities to do so as well. This has been Jim Emter, Van Onnen Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading and futures and options involves risk of loss and is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great afternoon.